Okay, I just wanted to take a second to make a quick video while we're waiting for the next tutorial video. I'm working on the power and the toggle switches and the buck converters, how to wire all that stuff together, but I wanted to take a second. Um, like I said in my previous videos, I'm a good step ahead, a couple of steps ahead, um, and I just finished my uh, pack. So this was built uh, using the uh, 3D printed files available at the 3D printed Ghostbusters props group. This is actually an older version. Um, the Mark 1, part of it is Mark 1 and part of it is Mark 2. Um, the parts were gifted to me by a friend of mine um, who goes by Taco Belly on the uh, Facebook groups. Um, I got a lot of the parts already printed from him and it saved me some time. Um, I printed a lot of the smaller detail parts in resin on my resin printer and I printed some of the other parts myself uh, on my Ender 3. Um, I could have printed this entire pack on my Ender 3 and I have printed a bunch of parts for uh, other packs doing that. Um, all of my hoses and things I already had from a previous build. Um, I just took them off an old proton pack that was based off of a vacuform shell and I just put them on this one. I already had the ribbon cable. I already had all the hoses. Um, and I had uh, already had some of the fittings. Some of the fittings are real metal. Um, some of them are 3D printed. Um, this is a resin shock mount. This is not the correct one for a Ghostbusters one pack, but this is that's what I had, so that's what I put on it. Um, my thrower um, is 3D printed. Switches and all that are installed. My clippered valve on the thrower and on the pack are both 3D printed. Um, and then uh, I actually made the labels myself and I'm missing a screw right there that I need to put back in. And then I have the uh, twist and I need to put some shrink wrap or heat shrink tubing around this guy, but otherwise it's done. And yeah, I have the pop, the pop uh, mechanism. Also via Taco Belly, I've added the S hook to my wand and uh, I actually have a 3D printed uh, V hook, which works just fine. I don't know why people say they don't work just fine. They work just fine. Um, I'll probably replace this with a metal one later because um, that'll just be better. And then I have split loom for my hose with the accurate electrical tape. Um, I, went, I went with split loom because it's easier to put the wires in and because that's what is accurate. Um, and I got all my stickers. All the stickers were made by my by myself. None of these are bought. I made all of them on my uh, laser jet printer using some vinyl sticker paper. This is what I would definitely consider to be a budget build. So a budget build that doesn't look like a budget build, if that makes any sense. So this is just to prove that you can make a really good looking proton pack and you don't got to spend $2,000 to do it. Um, cause I definitely did not spend $2,000 on this. I do have a, 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 a large amount of money in it, but not that much. Um, and then of course, uh, what everyone's waiting for, I have my Arduino proton pack lights and sound installed and all of it is working. So I'm going to just go ahead and, and demonstrate that right now. So first thing you want to do, let me make sure it's powered up. I have a, my talent cell battery mounted on the back of the motherboard. I don't know what I just stepped on. Hope I didn't break my phone charger. Um, on the back of my motherboard, instead of putting it inside so I can charge it. So first thing I'm gonna do is hit this switch and then nothing's going to happen. Might be this one. Okay, so that's the first one. That basically turns the pack on. Um, and you got the standard Thing, and then I'm going to turn this one and that turns the rest of it on. My switches are kind of backwards because that's just how they ended up. Um, it didn't bother me too much so I just left it. So I got the power cell light, got the red cyclotron light, got the vent light inside, the slow blow, and then the front hat light and then if you hit the activate I'm just gonna keep it on the thing actually let's pop the tube um, I'm gonna keep it on the thing and if I hit the intensify button 
So I ended up only using one NeoPixel in the uh, barrel. You might be able to see it. You see it in the end there. Uh, just one single NeoPixel because the jewel would not fit. And if you can, if you notice, that's plenty, plenty bright. Plenty bright. So I'm not too upset about that. And then you have the front hat light that also lights up. Um, and then if you switch this switch here, this is the theme mode. So now if I go back and press uh, intensify, it's going to play music. A lot of songs on there. I'm not gonna play too much of them so I don't get copyright strikes. Got a lot of 80s music on there. Yeah, so and then if, I, if I switch this back, then we got an overheat. And then the vent light goes on. So, yeah. Um, some more videos coming soon for my tutorial and you'll be able to have proton pack lights and sound in your proton pack just like these see you next time